What's happening guys? We're gonna do the oil change on the 21 Cana Maverick X3. So we should have everything ready here for you guys set up. Um, I've got my tray right here. We'll, we'll set it underneath there for now. So we can catch the oil when it drops. Um, you're gonna need your oil. I bought the kit. The kit comes with four of these, four quarts. Um, you need about 3.7, I think it's 3.7 liters. Uh, I recommend you buy the kit. It comes with the washers, uh, the rubber gasket for the oil, um, for, the, for the screws down at the bottom, make sure you change those. So it comes with that. It also comes with the oil filter. Like I said, it comes with four quarts of the oil go to your motorsports dealer depending on where you live and they'll recommend you the weight of the oil they recommended me the SAE 10W50 this is the XPS lubricants oil uh, you're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket and this is a T40 hex so we'll have those ready for when we go underneath here i'll show you real quick where the where the screws are at that we'll be taking off so <clears throat> it's I'm not sure if i can really show you here or if you can see but there's one two three and then the fourth big hole right here you're gonna be able to see the the the, the two screws that we need to take off um, start off with the big 17 and then loosen up the small with the hex with the hex um, a couple tips for you before you start up Make sure you turn on your vehicle for about 30 seconds, 60 seconds. Let it run, then turn it off. That'll help your oil to run a lot more smooth. Uh, what else? Another thing I recommend is loosen this boot. This boot right here. Um, I'd, I had to loosen up the first boot and then loosen up the second boot. So you can loosen that up and it'll give you easier access to the oil dipstick back here. Let me see if I can show you that. That's the yellow one right there. That's right here. That's where you're gonna put in the oil. Um, unscrew it a little bit to let the air out. So like I said, if you, if you take off this, this boot right here, That'll help um, when you when you go to pour the the oil, so that you're not trying to fill it in from up above here or doing something weird. Um, I also went ahead and put down a tarp down here, just in case um, the oil were to spill onto the skid plate. I have somewhere for it to fall. Make sure you get a funnel with the big hole at the bottom. So that just in case your screws fall into it, it can it can come right out. Um, it's not gonna get stuck in there, and it's not gonna it's not gonna clog up the the funnel. So those are a couple tips. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up the bolts and let the oil out, let it drain, and then we'll come back. We'll plug it all up, and we'll we'll put in the oil. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we're back. Um, we went ahead and loosened the screw down there for the oil. So we'll see. see if I can set this up here so where you guys can see it. So that way, if I make a mess, you guys will be able to see it on camera. Let's see. We loosened it up. We're gonna finish it by hand. 
Let me get a couple paper towels ready. Just in case. Put them right by there. And there we go. Perfect execution. <laughs> All right, there we go. So like I said, let me show you guys. There's the funnel. I went ahead and got that funnel there. And I'll show you guys at the bottom right here. But I went ahead and cut. Let me see if I can put it on where it's at. I went ahead and cut the funnel a little bit to make that hole bigger so that my screw can go right through it and I don't have to worry about catching it. Um, so that's what I did. It's another little tip you guys can use. And we'll just let it drain out and uh, we'll be back. All right, guys. Um, I mentioned that the kit comes with these washers. So I'll show you here. Comes with these washers. Make sure you change these out. I've already, I went ahead and cleaned out my plug. And then this was the old one. So make sure you put the new one on there. Get rid of this one. So I'll put that to, I'll put that to the side. Like I said, I've already went ahead and I cleaned the inside of my plug. I'm gonna go ahead and install it back on the uh, can -Am. So as you guys can see, clean, there's no spills, it's clean down there. Um, we're going to go ahead and remove the funnel so we can remove the other uh, little screw there. And then we'll let that drain out and then we'll move on to the, um, to the oil filter. Same thing guys, when you remove the other bolt, the smaller one, make sure to change out the washer on it clean it out as well okay all right guys so I removed the smaller screw from the bottom there I changed out my smaller copper washer and I didn't mention it to you guys at the beginning of the video but right here is the oil filter so we'll get to that we'll loosen that up once um, once we finish down here like you guys can see it's still clean down there so it's all good this I really recommend you have this just in case something like this a tarp or a big uh, old carpet you guys have something like that all right I'll come back when I uh, get to the oil filter all right so I went ahead and let the um, the smaller plug drain so you guys can see that's uh, now completely drained out and I went ahead and started to remove the oil cap oil filter cap there um, it has three bolts that you can take off with a t30 so see right here well anyways t30 Yes, take it off with a T30. And then we'll take off that cap. I'm going to put that screw back on. And then we'll take off the cap. We'll go ahead and remove the old oil filter. We'll put this one in. We'll put in the new gasket. Make sure before you guys tighten that back up, you lubricate this on the cap. Alright guys. Um, it got dark on me, but like I said, the last thing you're going to do is you're going to move this boot over. You're going to move the boot over. You're going to remove the oil dipstick. I have, um, I have this funnel here with the extendable holes. So then I just put it into the dipstick hole and I, and I fill that in with uh, about three three and a half quarts and then I'll go ahead and check the level of the oil I'm gonna I've already went ahead and put the oil in it so what I'll do now is I'll go over to the 
dashboard and reset the maintenance light. Um, I will also start it up and then leave it to cool down, check it tomorrow, check the oil level. If it's if it needs some, I'll add some. If it's good, then I'll just leave it. So that's about it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Do all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys.